And uh, what I've done, I trim it up every year, prune it back, try and keep it within its space here. And in here, I can't, this leader here has formed, but there's another side branch right here that is trying to become the leader. Generally, only want one leader, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this one and this one for now. I may end up taking off, cutting this off here. There is a new bud forming right here, but you can see in the past, there was a fairly big branch here that was going up was a competing leader. I also trimmed off a smaller one there, smaller one there. And uh, this has worked out pretty decent. But like I say, depending on what this one that is the leader now, the larger one, this is a smaller one, which is almost as tall as this larger one. I meant, like I say, I may end up cutting the, uh, this off here and I would cut it probably right here like that. I don't want to cut into this collar right there. I want to leave that. Well, and, and this has worked out okay, and you know, and I've heard, you know, you shouldn't top pine trees, and in this case, I don't have any choice, because if I let it go, it's going to go, grow straight up and run into the, the overhang. So, this is what I've done, and it's, it's worked out fine so far. This tree, this is a balsam tree, and it keeps its needles in the wintertime. Uh, it, it's worked out fine, but when I trim them, I, I try not to go really super crazy because you can't, I can't glue the branches back on. So I'll, I'll trim it and then kind of look at it and maybe wait a few days and look, okay, do I want to trim anymore or not? And, and make a decision and then, you know, I might wait till the, the next year too. Uh, best time to trim these? is at the end of the dormant season. I live in Minnesota, so usually March, probably the best time to trim them. Be sure and check out my other videos.